Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you a new what's for dinner today. This is gonna be a little bit of a shorter week. I only have two recipes, but both of them are gonna be so delicious. So I'm very excited to share them with you guys. Before we get started, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. We do lots of cooking on this channel and I would love for you to join our YouTube family. So before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you are excited to see these recipes and let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay, my friends, so tonight for dinner, we are having hibachi on the Blackstone, and oh my gosh, I cannot wait. We had this a couple of weeks ago. I think I told you guys either here or on Instagram how since we've had the Blackstone, we've only had hibachi one other time until a couple weeks ago, and I was like, monkey, we have to have it more often, and I actually shared it on Instagram that night, and so many of you went crazy, and you were like, you've gotta make that know what's for dinner. So. That is what we're having tonight. It is gonna be so good. I'm gonna flip you around, show you what we're having. I'm gonna do steak, Bunky's doing chicken. Of course, we're having fried rice, broccoli, mushrooms, onions, all of it. I cannot wait. So I've got my steak here laid out. We've got an onion for Bunky, eggs for our rice, chicken, and then I like to do a little mixture of teriyaki, soy sauce, and then actually a little bit of um, sesame oil. And I actually use that for the steak and the chicken. And then of course for our rice, we'll just use some soy sauce. Bunky is ever so beautifully uh, slicing up our zucchini. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and normally I make my own shrimp sauce, but to make it a lot easier on us, we're just gonna use this yum yum sauce. I think it's gonna be really good. We've had this like one other time, right? I can't remember it though. That's, yeah. It's been a long we've, time. We've had a bottle of that before. Also, the first time we made hibachi on the Blackstone, so many of you told me to make like day old rice or make it earlier in the day and put it on the Blackstone cold because it turns out better. So I did that. I made this rice a lot earlier today. It is cold, so when it goes on the Blackstone, it'll be more of that like, I think sticky is the right word? Yep. Sticky consistency. Mm -hmm. I like. I think I just want to like do yeah. like. That's what they need. You mean you're not gonna uh, make a volcano with your onion? <clears throat> I'm passing on the volcano train tonight. <laughs> Okay, so for my steak, I like to just salt and pepper it, and then I'll throw it on the grill and sear it on both sides, then cut it up, just like at the Japanese restaurant, into bite-sized pieces, pour my sauce on it while it's on the Blackstone, and then toss it around until the steak is cooked to my liking, which is usually like medium to medium well. I used to be well done. I've gotten better over the years. You're like a medium. I'm like a medium now. now. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this side, and then I'll salt and pepper the other one whenever we get it on the grill. And to me, the key to a great steak is lots of salt. Okay, do you think we have enough veggies? But does this plate not look just so beautiful and amazing? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle just a little bit of oil on these and give them some salt and pepper before we put them on the grill. And then once we get them kind of partially cooked, we'll of course add a little bit of teriyaki and soy sauce to them. But oh my gosh, this is like part of my favorite part of Japanese food. Not the mushrooms and onions, but the zucchini and broccoli. Okay, I just realized too, by the way, like I have been cleaning and decorating all day and I put on no makeup. I didn't even brush my hair this morning, so I'm sorry for my appearance. Um, but I'm about to go put all this food on the Blackstone. And of course it is dark outside. We have on our floodlight, so hopefully that will be enough light to see it a little bit, but it's probably gonna be kind of dark out there. It's actually a little bit better than I thought and the grill is smoking. So we're gonna add our chicken first and then our um, zucchini and onions and then we'll throw on the mushrooms and broccoli in just a second. Are you ready, chef? <laughs> you dumping on? Yeah, if you can. Did you put oil on the thing already? I'm gonna drop a little bit more, just where that's gonna go. 
gotta be quick though. That old's gonna start running. Okay, you ready? Yep. Put me out here. Hibachi is actually so easy to make on the Blackstone. It's all about the prep work, but once you get that taken care of, you just kind of throw it all on there, time it just right so that everything's done at the same time, but it's super simple and it doesn't take very long at all. And I know so many of you have also gotten a Blackstone, so if you have one, leave me a comment down below and tell me what is your favorite thing to make on it. I love making breakfast, but I think Hibachi might be my favorite. This is a dinner fit for a king. Bunky and I are about to feast. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Y'all, using the sesame oil, it makes the biggest difference. Like, it just gives everything so much flavor. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Okay, hibachi is what's for dinner tonight. Okay, so tonight for dinner, we are making like a baked chicken that has sour cream and panko and paprika and parmesan and garlic. I think it's gonna be so good. We're gonna have some rice pilaf to go along with it and then hopefully a vegetable if we can find one in the fridge or you will have like some canned green beans, right? Yeah. But we'll make some sort of vegetable. And Bunky is so cute, he's in his apron today. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around, show you how we're gonna make this chicken. So I got my chicken in our baking dish and we're literally just gonna take like a spoonful of sour cream and put it on top of each piece of chicken and that will like give it all kinds of moisture but also so much yummy flavor and help our like breading mixture stick to the chicken. So in a bowl, Bunky, I need a bigger bowl than that. <laughs> you said you wanted a little bowl. <laughs> I want it a little bit bigger than that. So in a medium sized bowl, we're gonna add some panko, some Parmesan, lots of paprika. This is what's gonna give it like most of its flavor. And I love smoked paprika. I think it has so much better flavor than regular. Then we're gonna add some garlic, salt and pepper, mix it all together and then top our chicken with it. Then we're just gonna pop it in the oven at like 400 degrees, let it bake. So simple, but it's gonna be so tasty, babe. I need like a I need a bowl, like a cereal bowl or something. Coming right up. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our little panko mixture mixed up, we added some more Parmesan in there. Um, I did go ahead and salt and pepper our chicken breast. Bunky is gonna add a generous amount, okay? Uh -huh. Of sour cream to each one, like more than that. I'm not done. Okay. Like, don't skip out on me. That's kind of like my favorite part. The sour cream? Yeah. Any more over here? Yeah, just just a little bit. You sure? Yeah, just a little oh, bit. No, there's a lot left on the spoon. Be just, just a little bit. Oh my gosh, you like legit put a little bit. When we made Longhorn Parmesan crusted chicken the other night, you said to me, "What I say? Something about don't be skipping on all that stuff. Like I want it swimming in it. And now I'm asking you to return the favor, and you gave me the smallest dollop ever." All right, we'll get a little more in there then, Bunky. Okay, that's good. Would you just spread it? No, I'm putting more on now. Bunky, okay, you're about to drive me nuts. Uh, Quit. Okay. Quit. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Go 
Go ahead and tell them, Bonky. Tell them what? Tell them. Tell them what? How good I spread the sour cream. Look at that. If that was a cake, that would be the best frosting job you ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me, oh, let me sprinkle oh, too. Here. No, I'm sprinkling these. Nope. What are we doing? Just liberally. Yeah, like, like cover it. Like give it like, you know, a thickness. Oh yeah. We're just getting started here. Oh my gosh. Now what's gonna happen to all the stuff that's falling down? I think it'll be good. It'll just have like some crusties, which you love. You don't think it's gonna catch on fire? No, I don't think it's catch on fire, Bonky. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> oh, the oh, oven's ready. It's ready. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop it into the oven at 400 degrees and it'll bake for like 20, 25 minutes just until the chicken's done. And now, sir, rice peel off. <laughs> It on you because that is not a liquid measuring cup. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. If I'm not mistaken, one cup is one cup. I agree. Now, it is probably easier to pour liquids out of a liquid measuring cup than it is this, but we roughen it. Okay, rice peas off is looking good. I think it's time to get our green beans cooking, B. I, mean, I was gonna uh, take this out of here and put the green beans in that same pot. Oh, let's do that then. Because I mean, that's gonna stay hot enough. Chicken's looking good. I think we're gonna um, either turn up the temperature or raise the rack. Our rack's like in the middle. Mm -hmm. I think we need to raise the rack. Send your rack. Yeah. I'm not raising it right now. We'll turn the broiler on if you want some crunchification Okay, on top. okay. <laughs> Um, <coughs> do you want to add some bacon bits to the green beans? Of course. <laughs> you know I was going to ask you that? Yeah. And soy sauce, right? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Actually, yeah, you should do soy sauce. I don't know, but I want to do Worcestershire. Okay. Add some s and p and these are going to be delicious. Let's just add some p. Okay. I think we got enough s from the bacon. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna stop monkey, but he hates salt. <laughs> I do. I think you can always add salt. Well, this is just like such an easy, good, down home, midweek comfort meal. Yeah, not a lot. Not, um, very simple. Yeah, very simple. boil it on too long. <laughs> Named you? No. I'm the one who opted to turn it off. You about said name Bunky, but your name is Bunky. <laughs> Our, our name is Bunky. Um, I told you that was going to burn. Those little crunchies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the rest of it looks so good. We'll just pull those away. Okay, we're going to let this rest for a few minutes while our green beans finish. I think it's cooking, but warming. They're warming. Y'all, why is rice pilaf so good? Like, I could eat this every single meal. It's one of my favorite side dishes of all time. <laughs> Monkey, why is that so good? Oh my, let me have a nibble. Oh my gosh. The flavor is just delicious. I just have to say, Monkey has been questioning me making this all night. This is like the second or third time we've made it. Yeah. I may have made it in what's for dinner, I don't know. But anyway, Monkey was like, I don't know. That's gonna taste real good. You're gonna love it. I know. Okay, tell me this is not like a well-balanced meal. Looks so good. I cannot wait to try this chicken. We haven't had it in a little while and I've made it different a couple of times. So I think this one's gonna be the winner. You see that? It's blurry. You gotta put your hand behind it. <laughs> there you go. You see it? Yeah, looks good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. 
You're, are you just saying that? No. Like. It seems so simple. Like almost like it wouldn't even be good, but I swear it has like so much flavor. And the sour cream is what makes it so juicy, tender, amazing. That sour cream transforms into its own little magical spread. Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. And then the uh, the topping is like, I am tell you what, Funky, I was not expecting this. I'm not even, I'm, I'm being serious. Dude, that is good. Let me just take another sample real quick. Okay. Um, Daisy's howling. And the green beans are rice people. <laughs> I mean, talk about gourmet sides, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you just love a little something, something out of the box. Rice pilaf and green beans. Y'all, I cannot quit the rice pilaf. Like, I don't know what it is, but I love it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I'm so sorry it's a short week. I am just so busy this week. I'm going out of town this weekend for my sister's bachelorette party, and it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> the next week, I should be back to normal, but I have just had so much going on. Anyway, next week's What's For Dinner is gonna be all about Thanksgiving sad dishes, so be on the lookout. I'm so excited to make all of the yummy goodness. I cannot wait. So anyway, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.